Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 19. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to understand about how can we use WordPress functions to identify the page. What I mean, let's say that in our theme, as we have made the separate page templates like 404, front page, home.php like page.php as well as single.php these are those pages which have their different different roles now let's say that if we go inside this 404 i'm going to rename something with the name of old again go inside this front page simply i'm to rename this page as old go inside this page.php I am going to rename let's say old also inside this home.php I am to rename this old and finally this single.php I am to rename this old why I am doing this as we know that these are the templates which loads their specific contents now this time there is no layout means predefined layout in our theme so while getting any of the file like front page like single page or any of the page template for this front page it is going to load all inside index.php right now inside this page.php we have but inside this page.php there is no template with this name inside this custom theme because we have successfully renamed that now if we go and reload this page so by default it is going to actually load the fallback file, default fallback file something index.php. If we go to template hierarchy, so every page has a default fallback file something index.php. So like these all our pages, what we are saying does not exist in our custom theme. So how can we detect our like pages by using WordPress functions? So here inside this image, we can see that these are the templates and inside this left hand side we are some functions these functions basically identify these templates so when we open any home.php page it is going to call all about this function called each underscore home if the current page opened as front page so by the help of this function we can render this content because this function will turn all about the true value if suppose we have some invalid URL, so as we know that while getting invalid URL, 404.php will be used. But if suppose this template does not exist, by default the fallback file be, will be used. But inside this index.php, if we can use this function to detect that is this is 404, we can easily check that. So how can we implement? Go inside this, open about index.php go inside this call md8 let's say that if suppose our fallback file inside this index.php will be and also one more thing that while using this function don't actually we need to memorize all these functions name simply we need to keep in mind all about the template name so home the function name automatically you can guess something is underscore home if it will be front hyphen page so is underscore front underscore page 404 this is the file name and here we have the function name with the name is is underscore 404 this is something we have single dot php guess what will be the file name sorry function name we will have called is underscore single here we have the page dot php the function name will be something is underscore page so this is easily we can find all about the function's name along with the template's name. If I back to editor, go here, let's say that is underscore home. It is going to return when we have the home page open. So let's say echo within h1 tag. Let's say that this is home page. Now if we save this change, again we are going to use another if block let's say that if we have suppose front page open so what i will do is underscore front underscore page now this is let's say front page again go inside this if block 
let's say that if suppose we have some 404 if I copy this message go inside here putting it here so this is 404 page again if I copy this code putting here let's say that this is all about page.php means this is for the page.php so this is a page template a page template again if I copy pasting it here now let's say that is underscore single for our single post now if we save this change back to browser and as we know that this is the page which is going to use called page.php but right now in the inside this index.php we have added a checkpoint so if I reload and as we can see that inside this we have the message called this is a page template so inside this as we know that this is detecting properly again if you go inside this clicking on the first menu now what I will do if I copy this URL open a private window pasting that URL and hitting enter click on this about page this is a page template and if we go inside this home this is a home page because as we had made the listing of all the posts inside the home page so that's why it is also a front page but actually at the priority it is going to use each home as we can see from this layout if I back to browser now if we click on this post called read more and it is going to use all about single dot PHP file so that's why we are getting called this is a single post template if suppose we have some invalid URLs let's say that about hyphen us as we have handled in inside last video pressing enter this is a 404 page these all messages actually we have written inside this specific if block and this is page coming according to page type so inside this single index.php file means inside this default fallback file we can use these WordPress functions to detect that where we are inside these templates so successfully guys inside this video we understood all about that is how can we use WordPress functions to detect about the page templates so now from the next video we are going to install all about WooCommerce plugin and now we are ready to learn about WooCommerce right now this is all about the lectures what we have seen is all interrelated all about custom theme development still so far we haven't discussed any WooCommerce thing like that but from the next video we will discuss up to part number 90s from video 1 to video number 19 we had discussed all the cases all the scenarios all the page templates of a custom theme development this is a standard rule we can follow in any of the custom theme what we can develop inside WordPress either it will be a simple custom theme or a WooCommerce theme development the same concept or the same cases we can follow inside every of the WordPress theme so from the next video we will see that how can we start from the WooCommerce theme development so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day